Hi there, I'm Amanda Cromhoed from Truth. Welcome to the Blind Loyalty Challenge. We interview world experts in loyalty blindly. We're hoping to create insight, spontaneity, and a lot of fun through the challenge. The challenge is about promoting the Blind Loyalty Trust and my book called Blind Loyalty, 101 Loyalty Concepts Radically Simplified. All profits from the book go towards the trust. We hope you enjoy the Blind Loyalty Challenge. So here we are again, Blind Loyalty Challenge, and I know I'm not allowed to have favourites, but... This young man sitting opposite me actually is a favourite because we've worked together probably about 100 years ago. That's showing our age, Rob. <laughs> so I'm very happy to welcome Rob MacDonald. He's the Chief Commercial Officer of IAG Loyalty. Rob, thank you for taking up the Blind Loyalty Challenge. No, I'm delighted. I'm delighted with the young moniker and I'm delighted to get involved in Blind Loyalty. It's an absolutely uh, incredible thing that you've been doing and I'm loving seeing it grow and expand. It's fabulous. Oh, thanks, Rob. We both have eye challenges of our own, so we're quite close to it. Okie doke. So the first question, all of these questions, I think, are way too easy for you. So I might throw in a bit of a curveball. So the first one is, other than airlines, which I know you know quite a lot about, what industry best lends itself to tiering? Um, I think hotels uh, is really good example because tiering really helps kind of pull together loads of really different brands that we're now seeing in in the hotel space we've seen all of the big uh, players in the hotel space bring in lots of different brands to serve different customer segments in different markets which is really good um really good innovation but then the tiering it helps make sense of it for customers so i think they've done the best job and actually i think all of the big programs there have i think all of them have pretty much have done overhauls in the last 5 years to to spring clean freshen it up um, and bring in innovations. I think they do the best job. Better than airlines? I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think they have got a bigger challenge to bring continuity across geographies, um, totally different brand experiences. So I think they, I think they do different jobs. I think <laughs> hotel land is sometimes more relaxing um, so the kind of tier does something different um, with frequent travel in airlines. I think people are looking for consistency and sort of speed, uh, maybe yeah. not, you know, some different things. So I can't compare. Uh, good answer. Good diplomatic answer there from an airline man. <laughs> so you are obviously deeply involved in partnerships, but give me a sense of the real power of partnerships and loyalty. I think... Partnerships give the catalyst to just drive really deep engagement. I think customers may be started engaging with, with potentially a brand and their loyalty offer for the brand's sake or one of their missions to buy something, do something, um, whatever that was. And then the partnerships is kind of the secret source I see on top. It kind of gives you more relevance it might speak to a particular occasion it might be a way of engaging someone outside of your day-to-day -day. so that's how we use partnerships um to kind of speak to somebody who may not be traveling that day but they're doing something that we can really expand their loyalty around a partnership so i see them as a catalyst an expansion something really fun way to drive much more engagement okay that was a super easy but easy question but I just know the work you guys do is phenomenal in partnership so I didn't want to miss that out because that was so easy now here's the hard one <laughs> so what has been your personal biggest mistake in loyalty my personal biggest mistake in loyalty I can ask that because I was reminded mm -hmm. on Sunday because I met up with Alan Burnett who we both used to work for yeah. in British Airways years ago and he reminded me my single biggest mistake was a million pounds worth of cost of sale that I misjudged so I cost the business quite uh, abruptly a lot of money by mistake yeah um I think it's only ever been when like you've made things too complicated so you know I've launched propositions in my time where we just put too many like customer hurdles in the way like we ask customer to metaphorically kind of what is that thing rub their stomach while standing on one leg um 
and you just don't get the response. So I think I've launched partnerships before where if the journeys weren't super simple, it was just too complicated. And to your point, you've like lost money or you've seen like a disappointing customer outcome. And, you know, you just have to just have the mantra, simple, 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 because people haven't got any time and they've got less time than they ever had before. So complexity is um, my biggest mistake. Well, I didn't prep you for that. And I love the answer because you have been a contributor and actually a reviewer of Blind Loyalty. And the title of the book is 101 Loyalty Concepts Radically Simplified. So we're obviously passionately aligned on that. So thank you very much. So who would you like me to challenge next? Who can I put on the hot seat next? Um, I think a fabulous candidate would be Andrew Shelton, a (laughs) marketing expert who's covered loyalty, all sorts of different topics. Um, And I know Andrew would be absolutely up for the challenge. Awesome. Well, I obviously know Andrew very well. So that's a brilliant, brilliant person. Andrew, I'm going to WhatsApp you in four seconds. (laughs) Right. Rob, thank you. You are phenomenal. And just as always, it's such a pleasure to chat to you. Thanks for taking the challenge. Thanks, Amanda.